An inverse of the matrix is defined by the following, where when you have a matrix A times its inverse, denoted by A to the negative 1, then you get the identity. Inverses are useful because it helps us divide a matrix over. So let's say AB equals C. A, B, and C are all 2 by 2 matrices. If A and C are known, and we want to find B, we can sort of divide A over by multiplying both sides by A inverse. And important, this is if we have to do it on the left hand side of both sides. So here you can see I've multiplied A inverse on the left hand side of the left and the left hand side of the right. So here, A inverse and A cancel out with each other, where well, you get identity, which identity times B is the same as B. And on the right hand side, we have A inverse times C. Note that it would have been incorrect to multiply A inverse on the right hand side of both sides, because it won't cancel out A. So here you can see A times B times A inverse that won't come out to be B. So this is wrong. So let A be this matrix, and we want to find A inverse. First, we're going to put A into an augmented matrix form. And with the identity on the right-hand side of the vertical line this time. So here we have A. And we have, here we have the identity. Now we're going to row reduce the left side so that it becomes the identity on the left side. So this is the same thing as you do in 5.3. Getting a leading one for each row. It's just that these are now bigger rows. If you're not sure how to, you can check out the next quiz in the solution and also review 5.3. Here I'm not going to go through every step of how to reduce this. Here I have already have the reduced version. So here we have re reduced the left side to the identity, and here the right side, this is the inverse of A. So here is A inverse. Again, check out the next quiz solution if you're unsure about how this reducing should have gone. When you inverse two by two matrix, you can do the identity on the right and then we'll reduce, but there's a shortcut to doing that. And here I'll show you. So let A be the matrix represented with the letters A, B, C, and D for the four numbers. Its inverse is going to be 1 over AD minus BC. A and D is going to switch positions, and B and C is going to switch signs. And 1 over AD minus BC, this is a constant. So if this number is anything other than a 1, then we'll multiply them into every single number of this matrix. Here, let A equals 2, 1, 5, 3. So A inverse is going to be 1 over AD, which is 6, minus BC, which is 5. 1 over 6 minus 5 is 1. So this effectively goes away because one, you're taking 1 times all these numbers. And then here for this matrix, we have A and D switching positions, so it's the 3 and 2 switch positions. And then the B and C, 1 and 5, becomes negative. So here, 3, negative 1, negative 5, and 2 is the inverse of A.